on here is Fall Gone Beauty Slow Dry Dark Lip Look um, inspired by Makeup by Alina. So you see she did this really like dark bouncy smokey eye with a dark lip and really highlighted blue eyes and everything. And I just thought this is perfect for fall, like I need to step out of my comfort zone, like the luminous looks and everything and do something dark because I don't feel comfortable with something that dark with my tone of skin but I think it kind of looks good on the smokey eyes so I'll probably do more and more and more of them. So I stepped out of my comfort zone, it was a bit of a struggle. Different stuff happened, you'll see after this tutorial, um, but I hope you like it. You can like, subscribe, um, comment, any suggestions for future, video, future videos you'd like to see too. Um, you can see the setting is a bit different because I've moved uh, back to university in the UK and I've been living back home in France for a year, my placement. So now I'm filming in my dorm room, so I'm not sure how it's going to look with natural light coming in because I can take all my stuff obviously luggage and all so but I hope you still support me um I hope you still enjoy this video and I'll see you later. Bye okay so let's get into this look so I've um exfoliated my face with um lush ocean salt exfoliator so I just put water on my face and then exfoliate and just brush wash my face with cold water uh, um, I think this exfoliator is really fresh because there's like lemon and sea salt in it and I really like it how it leaves my skin and preps it for my makeup um, so now I'm just going to prime my face and for this I'm going to use MAC Prep and Prime Natural Radiance in the pink shade I really like it because it has like kind of small glitter particles in it it prepares my skin really well for, me for makeup um, and gives me like this glow that I like to have you know I'm just deep, like just massaging this so you see that it already gives my skin this really radiant and glowy look so yes I'm going to use kind of a bit of new makeup today so really pay attention um, so now I'm going to go into foundation and this is one of the things I'm talking about as new products. I'm going to go in with the Hourglass um, new foundation, I don't remember what, what the name of it is but you know the new colour one. Um, and my shade is beige. So I bought this online so I have no idea if it actually is going to match my skin tone. So please, please pray with me that it actually is. So um, I've decided just to do one side of my face with it with Beauty Blender and the other side of my face with a brush. Um, so I'm just going to go... It feels really creamy and smooth. I don't know how much I'm putting on, probably putting way too much on, but oh well. <laughs> um, and I'm taking the Real Techniques Beauty Blender because moving here was a nightmare, right? And I forgot my beauty blenders in France, so I had to rush to Boots the other day and get this Real Techniques one. I really like it. I used to like use it all the time back in the day so it's no problem but I still love my beauty blenders and I've just got it. I'm just gonna have to buy new ones I guess. So going on this side of my face with the beauty blender. It's damp by the way. It looks quite kind of yeah it looks good. You can see oh god you can see like how flawless the finish it gives to my skin. The colour matching is not that bad. I look a bit white though. Maybe a bit a bit too light. Maybe I'll have to right, as long as the foundation goes, it is probably becoming one of my favourite already. Like my skin. Oh it looks airbrushed. The coverage is perfect, like not too sheer but not like too full coverage 
Oh my. Oh, you can see like this is my just streaky. You can see the difference. This is beautiful. <laughs> Taking my Zoeva 104 buffer brush and just buffing the rest on the left side of my face, but your right side probably for you. But just going in. Um, I don't really know. Like, I think it's really blendable. Hmm, but it looks a bit more streaky if I go in with the brush. Then the beauty blender, the beauty blender makes it like look much more natural and like it goes into the skin. Like, I don't know if you can see, but it looks a bit patchy there from this area here. Definitely, my choice for this would be the beauty blender. So. This is my foundation. I think it looks absolutely flawless. I am mesmerized. And I am going to set my face as usual with this um, MAC Manila Eye Skin Finish. A makeup by Sheila posted um, her last video and used the Manila Eye Skin Finish powder to set her face. Um, and I'm really happy because I just don't think people give, give this powder like enough credit because it is absolutely beautiful um, and it just doesn't make your face cake because it's a mineralized powder so it just makes everything look so natural and it sets makeup like a big dream and for this of course I'm going to take my Zoeva 106 powder brush my favorite brush is so dirty I'm cleaning my brushes after this tutorial but, um, Go in just in my Mac Miller's and patting on my face to make sure I'm not moving the powder, the powder, not moving the foundation around. Oh, um, I'm going to do my brows off camera and I'll be back. Okay, now so I have done my brows and I used the caramel brow definer by Anastasia Beverly Hill. So this brows, I wanted to go for something a bit natural. Yeah. I'm going to apply my concealer now and I'm going to use one of my go-to concealers of the season. It's the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. Um, I'm moving into like lightweight, natural, radiant concealers right now. Um, I keep like going in between the Becca Cosmetics Apple Concealer and this one. I'm probably going to purchase a, a bit of a... So for now, uh, the shade is light medium. I'm just going to apply it in every, every area that I want to conceal, basically. Taking my Real Technics Speed Blender and blending everything. These concealers, but this, these Too Faced concealers are so easy to blend. Like, this is already like almost blended, and I've only gone like twice in this back and forth motion. Make sure you go all the way up to your nose to give you an already um, apparent nose contour. If you bring your concealer up to your nose, it'll already contour your nose a bit. If you want to be doing that, of course. So this is done and you can see it's really, really, really beautiful. Finished, very luminous. That is what I'm going for. Um, so next I'm going to set this concealer and bake with, I got this as well, I finally caved into it. The Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. Apparently it's supposed to be really, really, really good. It better be the freaking price that you pay for this. I literally like have to save up like for ages because it was never my priority to get new setting powder because I always had like the Ben Nye Banana one and it was just alright because I really like it and now I were in a place where I could actually go by and so I'm like alright let's, let's cave in so placing it under my eyes um, I'm actually going to let it sit there because um, my eye makeup is going to be quite heavy um, today and I don't want like anything going on to my face so in the in the event of this happening I'm keeping my 
big one so that I can wipe it off and wipe all the excess that probably fall down, fall down on my face. Mm -hmm. So onto the eyes, so for this kind of like vampy grungy fall look, I'm using Kiko Eye Base as my primer. Try not to get into my eye this time. I've not had nails in so long because of like my job before, so as soon as it were done, I, I got to get them back and it feels so weird applying my makeup now. With nails on, I'm like, I'm gonna put my eye and I'll get back into it in another job. So my eyes are primed and to start, I am going to take my little palette with all my Anastasia shadows that I really like um, and I'm going to take a soft peach over here and apply it and apply it all over my lid. I'm also applying it. I'm taking my Morphe M441 brush and going into this caramel shadow by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And just going it, placing it into my crease as my transition color. Alrighty then, that's the word. This is it applied. Um, and now I'm going in the other palette and I'm taking this brow shade here. It's Mocha from Makeup Geek and my Morphe M330 brush. And I'm just going to go kind of all over gently, but I'm going to pack more and more because it's always better to go very lightly at first and then pack more and more. You see I'm going a little lower because I want this to be a bit on my lid but not too high on my crease so that it doesn't cover the caramel shadow that I have just applied. Um, okay, so this is the first step done. Kind of like it probably will go back in and you know blends things more and more when I get in the next steps of this but for now well now I'm pretty satisfied. So the next step of this is going to the Kat Von D in a Stella palette and um, I'm taking this really like really really matte black shade. Uh, it's called Nightcrawler. Um, and for this, I am taking this really light, flat, but still kind of fluffy um, sleek brush. And I'm going first very, very, very um, lightly in it and tapping the powder off because these are so pigmented, it's out of this world. Um, and I'm just first going in by tapping in this way to get the shadow all over my and now to blend all of this I am going to take my Morphe M513 with nothing on it and just start blending and smoke all this out. Always like you, you'd want to blend outwards so that the colour actually diffuses. Okay, so this is done and I'm going to highlight my brow bone and I'm going to take the small pencil kind of flat defining brush from my Morphe kit and this Trolls by MAC uh, Play It Proper This is Beauty Powder So it's kind of a highlight but not that shiny and look, it got cute troll So I'm just taking it like that and running it under my brow bone all oh, this is done. And now I am going to apply some mascara and lashes and I'll be back. Okay, so I've applied halves of the lashes I can. And now I'm going to dust off my lower Mercy powder. To be honest, like I get why they say this powder is flawless because it just leaves your skin looking like a baby's skin. 
I'm going to smoke out my lower lash line. We couldn't really see her lower lash line in the picture, but um, I am going to guess a bit what, and I'm going to just keep it in the same vibe as the makeup look is. So going back and back up on the um, night crawler. I'm just going on the outer portion of my lower lash line. And then I'm taking this just like random, I don't even remember where I got this like angled brush. And I'm going to take Morocco eyeshadow from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And put it on the inner portion of my lower lash line. And I'm going to take this Morphe G24 and just blend everything together. To learn, in my waterline, I'm going to take this mini Makeup Forever Aqua XL black pencil. I think they work, it works really well for my waterline because it's waterproof. Highlight. I'm going to take my also favourite MAC O Darling highlight with my small definer brush from Morphe. Anything too intense or too bright because it didn't look like uh, makeup by Alina had too much of an inner corner highlight going on. They're really about the smoky eyes, so yes. I'm gonna apply a bit of my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara to my lower lash line. We all do that weird, <laughs> like open mouth mascara face, I think. So this is the eyes finished, and now I'm gonna move on to my face, which is gonna be really, really, really quick. I'm taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour Kit again, taking this colour to contour my face. Just going quickly. Oh, and this is a brush, uh, like a dual fibre brush from my Morphe kit. And now I'm taking the darkest shade of the contour kit and I'm just going to do my cheeks. Basically, just going like that, a bit up because my bone structure is a bit in like that shape and it lifts my cheeks as well a bit more if I go in that upwards way and now, now I'm taking this flat angled brush just to blend everything out and you always need to blend up I find out that like if I blend up um, it looks a lot better one of my fellow French YouTubers French Dutch of Makeup um, she introduced me to this technique and it actually works a lot better for me now I'm going to take my Urban Decay Beach Bronzer and Morphe M527 brush she runs up my face a bit look I've used just so much like hip pan like it's literally one of my favourite bronzers ever <laughs> for my glow today I'm going to get into the Anastasia Glow Kit palette and I am going to take my Morphe pan brush and going into sunburst and bubbly today. Ooh, look at this. Ooh, mm, mm. You know, like it's gonna be one of them days where you just like in the car and you can't stop going like. Anyway, so this is done for the glow, and now I'm going to apply my blush, and I chose one today that I think is perfect for fall with them. Um, scheme it's fever 
by MAC and it's literally one of my favourites as well. You've seen me use it in quite a bit of my videos. So going in it, into it with my Kiko brush from the Artist Collection and just going in the apple of my cheeks so that it blends in my highlight with my contour. So yes, so this is it for my face. You see I look a bit less crazy than before and now the only thing left is lips. And um, Elena's wearing a bit of a like taupey brownie colour but I wanted to change it up and make it my own for this um, and I chose to go with the colour that I thought was perfect for fall as well. It's uh, Heathers by Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's really like really deep brown, a uh, deep reddish burgundy brown colour. I love Anastasia Beverly Hills with good lipsticks as well though. Okay, so this is the lip applied. You can see that it's really vampy and pretty. And now, of course, to lock all of this in, I'm going to use my own K All Nighter Setting Spray. Ugh. And I, we're done. Um, you can comment anything you like under the video, suggestions or anything, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!